You were at a sports car rally and you noticed that a car accelerates from rest with a rate of 7.84 meters per second squared over a straight line of 85 meters. And in order for that car to win, they have to beat the time of 4.6 seconds. So does the driver do it? And if not, what must the acceleration be? So remember, for every problem, the first thing we're going to do is start with our givens. So we know that meters per second squared is a measurement of acceleration. So our A value is going to be 7.84 meters per second squared. We also know that the car has to travel a distance of 85 meters. So that's going to be our position, 85 meters. And the last one, we are could be tempted to use 4.6 as a time. But remember, that's the time we want to, com to compare to. So we're actually looking for what is our time going to be. Now from those, there's a hidden given in here. We either know the final velocity of the car or we know the initial velocity of the car. And remember that anytime you see the words from rest, that tells you that the initial velocity is zero. So now that we have those four variables, which of the three kinematic equations has those four in it or which one does not have final velocity? And that's going to be x equals vit plus one half at squared. So we have our x value of 85. Our initial velocity is zero. Half of the acceleration, 7.84, times the time squared. Remember, we're looking for the time. So on your calculator, you'll take 85 times 2, and then divide it by the 7.84, and then lastly, you're going to square root it in order to find out what that time value is. And it should come out to be 4.66 seconds. So does the racer beat the best time? The answer is no, they don't. Which means that now we have to figure out, well, what must the acceleration be in order for them to beat that time? So now that A value becomes our variable. So if I look at the same thing, I'm going to have the same equation, x equals vit plus one half at squared. I have my x position as 85. The initial velocity is still zero. One half of the acceleration, which is what I'm looking for, and I have to beat 4.6 squared this time. So if I multiply both sides by two to get rid of the half, divide both sides by the 4.6 squared, then I'm going to get an acceleration of 8.03 meters per second squared. So the racer would have to accelerate faster than that in order to make it so that they win the event.